YouTubers. Thanks to one of my subscribers and friends, I was sent this very interesting article. Stunning NSA releases messages received from ETs. First, French UFO files, then the British UFO files, the FBI vault, and recently the Kennedy disclosure and now files from the prominent and most secretive security agency rediscovered, never been reported in mainstream media. The NSA saying they have received alien messages. Could the Enlightenment period that the Mayans said would happen in 2012 actually be the revelation that we have visitors? No, possibly, or thought to be, or allegedly, as the NSA is known for, the agency in a stunning disclosure has released to the public domain formally classified ET files here, but which had somehow managed to never receive any media attention. What makes this document incredible is the NSA's way of explaining the document in no way, shape, or form does the agency try to say that these might be alien messages communication. Rather, it simply explains, yes, we've intercepted their ET communication, and this is how to decode it. This one small step, yet giant leap for mankind, is best described as a treasure trove. Of the documents assessed, so far we are particularly interested in NSA Technical Journal, Volume 14, Number 1, with FOIA, Case Number 41472, which has been titled, Key to the Extraterrestrial Messages, the document authored by a doctor campaign presented a series of 29 messages received from outer space in extraterrestrial intelligence. The article is described as developing a key to understand these alien messages. If the, peasant, if the penny hasn't dropped yet, this now unclassified document not only confirms the presence of extraterrestrials, but that the U.S. government has received deep space transmissions from a civilization outside our own solar system. The following is transcribed from page 21 appendix. Recently, a series of radio messages was heard coming from outer space. The transmission was not continuous, but cut by pauses into pieces which could be taken as units, for they were repeated over and over again. The pauses shown here as punctuation. The various combination have been represented by letters of the alphabet so that the messages can be written down. Each message, except the first, is given here only once. The serial number of the messages has been supplied for each reference. The following is a copy of the original document as found on the National Security Agency website. You can view the original document at the following location. Well, isn't that interesting? This is M from Canada One and Traders Beware. Thank you very much for